ladies and gentlemen and everything in between. That was supposed to be a drum roll, but it was really bad. This is officially the first ever, listen to me as I stress that, first ever Smasher Pass on the channel. I'm going to be making this a new like thing I'm gonna do on the channel. I'm gonna be Smasher Passing the people on, what's it called? The in-betweeners, smashing or passing, you know, just anything. The Office, uh, I know there's a show called Dairy Girls, all that stuff. So smashing or passing or just tier list ranking and all that stuff is a new thing we're doing on the channel. And for this video, we're going to be smashing or, is spit, smashing or passing the English football team. As I upload this video, which will be tomorrow for me, but the day for y'all, what am I trying to say? The day this is uploaded is the day that England is playing Denmark. So I was like, okay, we're halfway through like the semifinals or whatever, the Euros and stuff. So I was like, this is the per perfect opportunity to do a video like this. So we got 26 members on the team in total. I have them all pulled up. There are some that I find attractive. There are some that not so much. There are some that have redeeming qualities and I'm going to be ranking them all and saying who I would smash and who I would pass. If you're just not into that, then you don't have to watch this video. Just look forward to the next one or watch one of my past ones that you haven't seen. I don't know. But but I want to do this video, so I'm going to do it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe, like the video, so I know you'll want me to do more Smasher Passes and rankings and football content in general. Like the video. Uh, check out my music channel. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers over there. And follow me on Instagram. Here we go. Into the Smash or Pass. So as I said, I have all 26 members of the Euro England 2021 football. Ooh. Mr. Kane. We're gonna get to you, buddy. We're gonna get to you. But yeah, I have 26, all 26 members of the team. We got the goalies, we got the like front people, we got the back people, the side people. We got everybody. All positions are here. And first up, we have Mr. Man. Don't know their names. This is going to be completely authentic, unpremeditated. I don't know their positions. The only thing I really saw was their net worths. I'm not gonna lie. I did see some of their net worths. <laughs> But yeah, so I don't know the players. I don't have any like biases for anyone. This is purely just my taste, my physical attractions and all that stuff. It can be different from yours. We don't have to agree, but this is just my video. Anyways, I like the thin dreads he has. I do like the dread style. Uh, I don't, I can't tell if they're faux locks because they're so neatly kept or maybe he's just like, he's into hygiene and maintaining his appearance. But I, I don't know if they're natural, like real dreadlocks or faux locks. Either way, Actually, a guy with faux locks is kind of weird, not gonna lie. Huh. Because I actually knew a guy with faux locks and it was, it was, it was weird. But I, I don't know. Since I don't know, I'm not gonna judge him on the hair. The eyebrows, they're full, they're thick. Another criteria for me is like our offspring. If I were to have a baby with this guy off from this tier list, how, what would they pass on to our children? Like, would they come out looking busted with crazy ears and like deformed? I don't know. His physical features, the only thing that I don't, how do I say this nicely? His lips are very small for a black man. That's it. So I feel like if I well, tried to kiss him, like I would be overpowering him because I got some pretty big lips. Mm. But it's overall, okay, aside from the mouth, even the jawline is nice. The ears aren't too small. He has a nice fade. I love how, I actually, I don't really usually like eyes that are super like into the, into your skull, but his are kind of cute to me. I think it's the bushy eyebrows. Like they contrast the small eyes. Overall, he's a very attractive man. I'm going to go ahead and say vroom vroom, which reminds me, I didn't even explain. Favor, you're not a you're not a professional at this. What are you doing? I got to explain the categories. So first of all, down here we have I'm Blinded by Your Face. If Obviously, it's a reference to Stormzy. His song, I'm Blinded by Your Grace. I'm Blinded by Your Face just means like not attracted to you at all. Like don't even, I would never, not going to happen. Next up, we have Eyes Down and Walk Past. We've all had that moment where it's like, whether you're just walking up and down the sidewalk or you're walking into a building and you can tell someone's like interested in you and like trying to give you the eyes and it's kind of like, ooh, eyes down and walk away. That's that category. Next up, we have the category Gordon Ramsay. Now, some of you are probably gonna roast me for this, but I find Gordon Ramsay extremely attractive. I know he kind of looks like a pug slash pit bull, but something about his aura, one minute he's just like strong and aggressive and then the next minute he can be so cuddly and sweet to his family. So. Gordon Ramsay is like God tier for me when it kind of comes to like hotness. So, but considering his looks, I put him in the middle as like the average person. Next up, we have the category called Vroom Vroom, which means like, get in the car, let's go. You know what I'm trying to say. And then I didn't catch your name. That means like there was no pleasantries, no shaking the hands, we get straight to it that day. That's what that category is. 
I'm going to go ahead and put Mr. Dreadlocks in Vroom Vroom. I don't want to put him... I didn't catch your name because, again, the lips. Like, I don't want to pass that to my children. Sorry to say. But, yeah, Vroom Vroom, he's still a very attractive man. We would use a rubber, though. Next up, we got this guy. He could use a lineup, not going to lie. He kind of looks like my brother. Not, not feeling him. Okay, he's going to go in I'm Blinded by Your Face down here. Next up, now this is the usual guy I would go for. Freaking in college, the guys I would like talk to or whatever, they looked like this. And from those experiences, I do have some premeditated opinions, but it's not right to judge everyone, you know? You shouldn't judge people collectively or, you know, make uh, presumptions or whatever. So I'm not going to judge him. I don't know his personality. He's very attractive, very cute. I do like how silky his eyebrows are. I like his nose, how it kind of has like a swivel in it. The lips are full, very full. Jawline is nice. Chin, we kind of have similar chins, actually. Overall, he's a very attractive man. His hairline does go full. Zoop. Instead of just going zoop, it goes zoop. Zoop. So that could be fixed. But overall, he's a very attractive man. So I'm going to go, I didn't catch your name, sir. So get in me bed. Let's do it. Okay. There we go. Next up, we got Mr. Man. Now, you know how I gave Dreadlock Boy a pass for his um, eyes being in? I can't say the same for this guy because the it's like the eyes are in but they're also like inward like it's almost cross-eyed that's something you would ha if you're gonna be with someone you're gonna have to look at them all day every day through all situations do i want to do that with him no so we're going to he's not an ugly man though but it's just like not my type so i'm gonna put eyes down walk past nothing against you just not my type next up ooh. Hair's thinning, the ears, he kind of looks like angry or, I don't know, like a mugshot. We're going to go ahead and say, I'm blinded by your face. Okay. And no judgments, don't know who these players are, so if this is like your favorite football player, sorry, I'm not attracted to him. Next up, we got this guy. I'm a bit conflicted for him because I feel like overall he has a nice face. It's very nicely proportioned. I like the dark hair, like the dark hair, the light eyes. But the ears are kind of sticking out for me, not gonna lie. I'm gonna go ahead and put in, in Gordon Ramsay, because just like Gordon Ramsay, overall he's attractive, but there's just a little few things that are kind of like, I don't know, just keeping me from elevating him in my attractiveness. Next up, we got this guy. Um, he kind of reminds me of like a little puppy. Like a, like a little, you know the dogs that have like the underbite? That's what he kind of reminds me of. And the ears are very, very small. I don't know what, like, I'm just finding out from this video. I have a thing for ears. Like, I, I notice them a lot. It's ears and teeth for me. Your smile is very important. So I'm going to go ahead and go, I'm blinded by your face. Shout out to Stormzy. Ooh, what's going on? Ooh. I'm not technologically advanced, apparently. We're just going to leave him there. Next up, we've got this guy. Now, I know some of you are probably going to judge me. But there is something about him, and I'm not just talking about his $75 million net worth, or pound net worth, just his face in general. You know, he does have, like, some quirky things about him, the ears, the nose, but it all kind of ties together. And he has that little Leonardo DiCaprio little swivel right there. The hairline is very nice. His hair is full. It's not thinning. That's a big thing. He's just an attractive man. You got the full beard. It's not patchy. The eyes are close to the eyebrows, but it works with his face. And I can I can get past the nose. Like, he's a very cute man. I'm gonna... Come get me, daddy. I didn't catch your name. We're getting straight to it with him. Don't know his name. Comment his name. I like him. Ne Ooh. Austin McBroom from the Ace Family. Okay, I don't necessarily like the hair. Mm. Moving right along. Okay, next up we've got this guy. Now he, ooh, he looks like Bryce Hall. Not gonna lie. Very much Bryce Hall. But he's not ugly. He kind of reminds me of Phineas and Ferb too with how the head is like very long and the ear is like by the neck. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put him um, eyes down walk past. He also kind of gives me the vibe of, you know those guys who like, they'll hit on you? Well, a lot of, it's probably guys watching this video, but 
if some of you have done this, shame on you. But the guys who, like, hit on a girl, and then when she turns them down, that's when they're like, oh, well, you're ugly anyway, you're fat slag. Like, that's the, he kind of gives me that vibe. Like, he'll hit on you, then when you turn him down, he's gonna insult you. Same goes for this chap, not gonna lie. Especially this one. Whew. All right. I'm sure they're all great guys. You know, no disrespect or anything. No disrespect. Okay, next up, next up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Kinda has a big head, but overall he's attractive. I like the hair. Usually I wouldn't like hair like this. Slicked back hair, very saucy, sexy. Uh, he'll cheat on you, then lie about it. But I'm gonna go ahead and put him in Gordon Ramsay. In fact, I'm gonna bump whoever this guy is up to Vroom Vroom, because now that I look at him again, he's very cute. This tier list is not let, working with me. Come on. He looks like the French Prime Minister. What's his name? Something Tudro or something. Next up, ooh, ooh. The hair could be a little longer, because I feel like when you do this hairstyle, the shaved sides and like the top, it needs to be a little longer to like, yeah, it just looks like a plopped on his head, like a toupee, like Trump. But overall, aside from that, again, the light eyes, dark hair, he has a nice nose, facial hair. He's very cute. I like him. I'm going to put him also in, actually, no. I was going to put him in Vroom Vroom, but I'm going to put him in I Didn't Catch Your Name. He's very attractive. Let me know if I have, like, a, a, a taste in men based off of my tier list so far. Do I have a taste? Are there any traits that you can tell from my ranking that I don't like or I do like? Let me know, because I'm, I'm just going off of these people. Right off the bat, I can't do it. I, I, I don't know if he was trying to get, like, a hairline, like, force a hairline. Like, I've seen some people do it where it's, like, the front is very thinned out and then the hair starts growing, but... I don't know if maybe just the barber was sleepy that day and wasn't paying attention. What is this little hair doing? I don't know. And then we get down. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Join your friends down here, buddy. All right. This guy. Look at him. First of all, the dreads remind me of Cheetos, and I love Cheetos. Very nice. The eyebrows, very nice. Thick. Luscious. His... He has a cute smile, too. A good smile. I'm telling y'all. Good teeth, a good smile. It will really go a long way. Because it's like, your first impression when you see someone is their face. So, like, that's immediately what you're judging someone on. You're either attracted to them or you're not. And Mr. Sir, I must tell you, Dudzy, I am attracted. You're going in. I didn't catch your name. Let's get straight to the business. I should also say, because apparently a lot of guys I want to get straight to the business, we have four up here. I am a virgin. So no one start commenting no ho stuff about me this is all jokes calm down next up we have him he does look a bit older very much so i would say he's probably late 30s early 40s or maybe can you play football in your 40s not sure but yeah the hairstyle for me is giving very much like i'm trying to stay young or appear young i'm going to go ahead and put him in eyes down walk past there's no reason a 40 year old man should be hitting on me anyway so um yeah here we go here there you go all right next up this guy a lot of these pictures are like mug shots like they just got caught doing something bad if i, I wish i could see a smile because his lips are so nice you can tell from his like five o'clock sh uh, oh a cock five o'clock a clock <laughs> where is my mic five o'clock shadow that he has like a full face of facial hair it goes everywhere not just like you know mustache or goatee or whatever so i feel like with the whole beard too he could be hot he's hot here so i'm gonna go ahead and put him in vroom vroom because i would love to go on a date with him and just look at his face like we could go to the beach or like a little restaurant on the on the beach and i would enjoy just looking at him wouldn't even have to talk or do anything all right now this guy i do find him attractive i think he's cute but it's like if i ever tried to kiss him it just wouldn't work because you remember how I said this guy had small lips? Okay, but his lips are bigger than this guy. So imagine. It just wouldn't work. He's very cute, though, aside from that. Oh, bye, Buzzy. Delete. Oh. Okay. I'm going to have to... I'm going to put... I'm going to friend zone him. I, that's what I would do. I would friend zone him. Yes. Gordon Ramsay. Because it's all great. It's just like that. I can't get past. This guy. I, I've, I've met a few people who look like this. Kind of big head. The hairstyle makes it even bigger. The, the voluminousness of it. I'm going to go ahead and put Budsy in... 
He would either be in eyes down, walk past, or I'm blinded by your face. But to be nice, I'm going to put him in eyes down, walk past. All right. Moving right along, we have him. Oh, I was about to say, first black guy that we've seen. But no, the England's team has three. One, two, three. Y'all have a lot. Four. I love the diversity. Five. Six. Six African, not African American. Six black people on the national team. So it makes more sense why y'all are kneeling. Um, but yeah. He kind of reminds me of the Nigerian man my mom tries to set me up with, not gonna lie. But that being said, he is still very cute. I love his nostrils. They remind me of like a heart, which means he's in love with me. So, yes, we're gonna go on a date. Vroom, vroom, in your car. I will place you down here. Okay. Next up. Take! Oh, disrespectful favor. Not gonna lie, after I started reacting to these clips of England whooping everybody in Europe's ass, two to zero, four to zero, and who was the main man leading the pack? It was this one, Harry Kane. So you know what I did? I headed over to Instagram and I stalked his page. And that's when I saw he had a beautiful wife and two beautiful daughters. So no disrespect to them, but if Harry Kane ever messaged me, the pants are down, period. He's going straight up. I didn't catch your name, daddy. Let's get straight to business. Okay, next up we have a man who kind of looks like the guy from Sidemen. Harry. He looks like Harry from Sidemen. Harry, on the other hand, is I would love... I shouldn't say this. He's very attractive. Him, on the other hand, he seems like the great value version. I don't know if y'all have great value brand in the UK, but basically it means instead of buying hot Cheetos, you would buy spicy spicy chip sticks you see what i'm trying to say like it's the off-brand version so i'm gonna put him in gordon ramsay because again he is still attractive it's just like averagely attractive for me now this one i feel like he would gaslight me and make me t tell me i'm delusional he's very attractive though uh, he's if you can work a buzz cut that rd rd this man if you can work a buzz cut you are just universally beautiful. So, going straight to the top. Come on, bring it on. Let's go. Right next to Kane, shall we? Or with Kane, maybe. No, that's too far favor. Your jokes sometimes. What are you doing? Next up, we have this guy. He reminds me of John Cena. Okay, the buzz cut doesn't work for everyone. Sorry. 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 No disrespect. No disrespect to you. Next up. Next up. Again, Menace to Society um, mugshot photo. But he's very cute. And, you know, I don't usually like big ears that kind of go out, but his are kind of cute. They remind me of little elves. And his entire face is just beautiful. The beard, the structure, everything. His hair slicked back. A lot of these guys have the same hairstyle where it's like faded on the side with that top. Like, is that a thing for men? Let me know. I am going, he looks like kind of, he looks kind of like Kane. So he's going to go to the top too. And I keep getting glimpses of the guy with the faux dreads. So, and I'm, I'm attracted to him. So we're going to go ahead and move him as well up to, uh, let's go daddy. I didn't catch your name. So when I didn't catch your name, we have this guy, 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 this guy. Vroom vroom, this guy. Though I feel like on a drunk night, if we were drinking, he could probably make his way up to I didn't catch your name. This one, who should probably honestly be moved down to Gordon Ramsay. And him. Gordon Ramsay. Now that it's not going to happen with him. Sorry. I'm like making alterations at the last minute. Okay, Gordon Ramsay. This one, I stick by that again because, like, from the nose up, he's cute. But I feel like if I've ever tried to kiss him, it just would not work. He's cute still. He's all right. He could be bumped down even lower, but I'm not going to do that. Eyes down, walk past, which means, like, don't even acknowledge they exist or are trying to talk to you. This one, Bryce Hall wannabe. This guy and this guy. I've just met and seen too many people who look like him. I can't do it. I'm blinded by your face. This one, 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 and this one. So it's funny how my most like listed people are in I didn't catch your name, which is the one where it's like we're getting straight to it, and I'm blinded by your face, which means don't even like don't talk to me at all. 
interesting. Again, let me know if you, I have a type or features that I like based on my rankings. Comment down below. I hope this wasn't too offensive to anyone because it wasn't meant to be. This is just like my um, attractiveness, my preference, all that kind of stuff. So let me know where you would rank or if you agree with my rankings. Bye!